Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. That breaking news out of Ann Arbor, where the University of Michigan has fired its linebackers coach one day after the school agreed to the three-game suspension of Jim Harbaugh. Michigan Athletic Director Ward Manuel saying Chris Partridge, who you see here, has been relieved of his duties without any mention of why. So no word on if this is related to the sign-stealing scandal. Rick Minter will now serve as the team's linebackers coach starting this Saturday against Maryland. Harbaugh is also out for this game and the next week against Ohio State. Also here at noon, we're following breaking news from downtown Detroit. A tentative deal is now in place for workers at Detroit's three casinos. It comes as their strike was entering a second month today. Priya Mann joins us live in downtown Detroit with everything we know about this agreement. Priya? Rhonda, Jason, good afternoon. We're talking about 3,700 casino workers here at MGM Grand, Motor City, and Hollywood at Greektown. That tentative agreement was just reached. As you can see behind me, a big crowd out here outside of MGM Grand. I want to bring in two members of the negotiating team. We've got Martha Lett and Teresa Vaughn. Uh, Martha, let's start with you. You've been a member of the negotiating team since the mid-aughts. Have you seen a contract like this before? Not at all. This is the most. This is the best contract we ever had with the casinos. And we get um, starting off with three dollars up front, raises over the um, rest of the contract, protected our health care, protected technology. We really secure a good deal with the company for, for our, our workers out here. And I mean, health care and wages were two big issues here for colleagues who were out here um, on the picket lines. How do you feel about what's been reached so far? Well, I feel that we did excellent because over the years we've been getting cents and for the first time we're getting dollars. So I'm grateful for that. And for them not to touch our health care, our dinner, our vision, you can't beat it. And so right off the bat, we're talking about $3 uh, additional pay for every single casino worker. What was the reaction? Uh, how did you feel when you were letting uh, workers out here know? I think they are very excited. We went in to win this for them and we came out winners. And so they really appreciate our help on the negotiation team, what we did for them. Now, there are some folks out here. I know when you were talking about some of the uh, gets in this contract, uh, they weren't too pleased. So there, there are some folks out here who wanted more. Yes, it was a hard fight, but we did the best that we could as negotiators and the people were satisfied. And that's what they asked for. We did, excuse me. They did not want to go under three dollars. So we got the three dollars and they did not want to get less than five. And we did not get less than five. They want to maintain the health care. We maintain the health care, so, I mean, what else can you ask for? And then we got sad letters, every department. Um, we got our work is secure. They got less workloads for people, like housekeeping and things like that. So I think we did great overall. Now, when it comes to ratifying this contract, you're expecting a vote uh, within, within days here. Yes, very soon, so we can get the people back to work. And the company want, want them back to work. And we want our union workers back to work also. When you think about the last 32 days and you see the amount of people out here today, what stands out to you guys? Solidarity. Yes, unity. Yeah. Well, thank you both for being with us here. Again, two members of the negotiating team. As they mentioned, uh, this tentative agreement still has to be ratified. Uh, members are expected to vote on it uh, today, possibly over the weekend. As you heard, many here just want to get back to work. So again, a huge uh, breakthrough in negotiations. 32 days, 3,700 workers, uh, many of them excited to get back to work. Reporting live from MGM Grand, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. A great development indeed, Priya. And speaking of contracts ratified, also new this hour, it appears a new contract with Stellantis has been ratified as well for the UAW workers. The union posted the preliminary results just a short time ago. It's the second deal this week for Detroit automakers. Earlier, a deal with General Motors received almost 55% support from union members. Ford Motor Company workers could ratify their agreement soon. Many are left scrambling today that had some travel plans because mm -hmm. of a train derailment. Train headed from Pontiac to Chicago last night, derailed in New Buffalo. This is way on the west side of the state near the Indiana border. Yeah, right there in the corner there. And that derailment happened around nine, uh, 10 o'clock last night. There were more than 200 people on board the train when it hit a truck that had been stranded on the tracks. The incident derailing other scheduled Amtrak services here in Michigan. Now people headed out for the holidays, just like Tony Jones here, are left very frustrated. It's a holiday. We supposed to be traveling now. This, we off work. So now we stuck in the city. 
Don't get me wrong. I love my city, but I need to go. I need to go so I can come back and miss it. <laughs> Cause, <laughs> you know, I was coming, but you see this. I can't go nowhere. I love you, but we gonna have to Skype or FaceTime. I ain't got no iPhone. I got a Galaxy. Team Green. <laughs> That was a long interview, and Aww. Tony was very animated. Good sport. And he was a very good sport. Uh, there's no word yet on how long it will take to get trip schedules back on track. Pardon that pun. Now to an update on breaking news we had at 6 a.m. Ann Arbor Police just releasing new information on a stabbing that we've been following all morning. Officers responding to a scene near... 4th Avenue in East Huron around 445 this morning. Police say a 55 year old man and 39 year old woman both suffered non life threatening injuries to their legs. Investigators say the stabbing occurred inside the embassy hotel and it's being investigated as a domestic incident with no threat to the public. 25 year old Monte Arnold Jr. has been charged in the stabbing of a 63 year old Detroit man. It happened on Sunday around 1115 in the morning on Dexter Avenue. Arnold Jr. allegedly approached that 63 year old man and stabbed him multiple times with a knife. The victim was taken to the hospital and treated for non life threatening injuries. Arnold was arrested later the same day. He's charged with assault with intent to murder. The next week and a half could be a record breaker for millions of travelers that are flying for Thanksgiving. The TSA is expected to screen about 30 million passengers over the next 12 days. The busiest days to fly are next Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving and the Sunday after the Thanksgiving weekend. AAA reports over 55 million people will drive to their holiday destination. The worst times to hit the road are late afternoon on Wednesday and midday Thanksgiving and early afternoon on Friday after Thanksgiving. Now here's forewarned meteorologist Ron Hilliard and for Ashley with a look at our forecast for not only today's tree lighting and all the other festivities, but we'd like to know about Thanksgiving too. Ron and Jason, a lot of activities happening. And of course, as you mentioned, the tree lighting and campus marshes. As we look into downtown Detroit right now, it is a little cloudy and it's cooler than it was over the past couple of days. And the temperatures that we're at right now, we are seeing them tumble already. We're at 42 in Howell, but as you go down just toward the south and toward the East Monroe County. We're seeing temperatures coming in the city of Monroe at 57 degrees. So you see those cooler temperatures ushering into our area. We have 30s in the UP still holding on to some 40s at the southern part of our state, including right here in southeast Michigan, but certainly feeling that cool chill coming in. We've seen those rain showers across the area. Zach track 40 radar still showing a few of them across the area, especially as you get along the shoreline. We're still seeing some of those showers around Port Huron and a few lingering ones around the Adrian area and Ypsilanti. So we have those showers moving out of the area. We will be cool and a little bit breezy later on this afternoon. We have those temperatures out there continuing to tumble and I'll tell you just how cold it gets tonight. In the meantime, if you want to track those showers in your neighborhood, all you have to do is download the forewarned weather app. You can get the latest information, accurate forecasts for your neighborhood and of course track those showers. That's right.